All right, Shalom. It's the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakat Day Yahweh, Brakat Day Yahweh Shai, Brakat Day Yahweh, Brakat Day Yahweh Shai, Brakat Day Yahweh, Brakat Day Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La, but now we Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Arakah Kodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and well peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect, the Bayath Dawada, the house of David. <clears throat> so we're just gonna get right into it. And this is uh, Romans 11 and 33. It says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments in his ways past finding out. That's right, because nobody understands the riches of both the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. You know, it's past our thought patterns, man. Okay. And the judgments of the Most High is past our thought patterns as well. So we have no idea of what the Most High is uh, is on that level, so to speak. Because the Most High's level is past man's level. You see, it's past man's level. His level is on a level of just a different time frame. You see? So that's why we, we can't understand the riches both of wisdom and knowledge of the most high. Because it's far beyond of our it's far beyond our thoughts. Alright. Now do we fear the most high? Yes. Do we fear Yahweh Yahweh Shai? Yes. Do we pay reverence to the Heavenly Father and His Son? Yes. Because that's what we ought to do. Because fear of the Most High is the most important thing, but reverence in him as well is another one of the most important things all right and that's the thing about jake today when i say jake i speak i take i say israelites that's what we say when we say jake israelites jacob yaquab all right so now let's go down to these precepts or cross references this is psalms 107 and 8 it says oh that man would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. That's right, because see, these other nations, when they see the things that the Most High created, they're amazed at. When we see the things that the Most High created, or, uh, created, we're not amazed at it because we know the power of the Heavenly Father. We know what he's capable of. But do we know, do we understand his wisdom and knowledge? No. We, we, we're not on that level. Our mind is not on that level. The Most High is on a different level. All right? He's on a higher frequency, on a higher level. Now, when we get into the kingdom, we're going to be on a higher level. All right? In this world, we're not on a higher level. Right? Because our minds are not there. You see? And this flesh that we're in is not there, man. Okay? It's not up to par. So to speak. Okay. Proverbs 25 and 3 says the heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. See? Ephesians 3 and 18, it says, may be able to comprehend all with all saints what is the breadth and length and the depth and the height. Romans 2 and 4. O deepest. I said, oh, disp oh, deepest thou the riches of his goodness, or I said, Salakia, or despise if thou the riches of his, his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High uh, leadeth thee to repentance. That's right, it leadeth thee to repentance. All right, and that's the men, the, the Lord speaks through the men that he has set up on the highways and byways. Start with our elders and the apostles of Great Millstone from high, uh, from elder apostle to har all the way down okay from the apostle to har all the way down man who have taught us this truth who we have learned through this truth and then going back further to our uh, to our elders and to their elders man as well the high priest ariaz of the world all right elder yaiqua all right high priest abba bivens Okay. 
Without them, we wouldn't understand this truth. Okay, we would have no recollection of this truth. See, the Most High does things in a way that we really have no understanding of, man. We really have no understanding of. And that's why, that's the beauty of it. Because see, these other nations, they don't have any understanding of it. They don't know. But see, when we get in the kingdom, when, the, when, when we're in, uh, rewarded the kingdom, we'll have true recollection and understanding of what the things of the Most High have set forth. See? Which have decreed. But right now, as far as right now, no. We don't understand. We don't truly, truly, deeply understand the wisdom knowledge of the Most High. Because it's, it's uh, far beyond our thoughts. Our thoughts. Because that's how deep it is. All right. So this is Romans 9 and 23. And it says, And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared of glory. Ephesians 1 and 7. Salakia. It says, In whom we have redemption. Redemption meaning to be redeemed. Through his blood, forgiveness of sins, right, through the blood of who? Yahweh Shai. This is what he's speaking about. Of sins according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians 2 and 7. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's right, because Yahweh Shai is our savior. He's our deliverer. Henceforth, by his name means what it means. It's an omen It means he is the deliverer. Okay, and he was sent to deliver the nation of Israel, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. And did he come to save all the nation of Israel? Yes, he did. He came to shed the blood for the remission of the sins of many. So the scriptures say of many. He was talking about the many is Israelites. All right. Now, but now. Let's continue to read on. Ephesians 3, 8. Chapter 3, 8, 10, and 16. But now the first fruits is the elect of the nation of Israel to be delivered. Two thirds of them have to be destroyed here on this side for their rebelliousness. Because they are rebellious. They don't want to repent, and neither do they want to appear to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They'd rather just continue on in their path of wickedness and continue on doing the things that they are doing without even repenting, without even showing reverence to the Lord, Yahweh. The heavenly father, the one who brought them out of the land of Egypt. Okay. That's not all of their thought patterns. man. Their thought patterns is the ways of this world. The corruption. Right. The corruption of this world. The, the ways of this life. Which the ways of this life is nothing but death. We live in the shadow. We live in the shadow of death. All right. We're walking through the valley a shadow of death every single day. And the valley is a low land. So America is what we're walking through. Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon. Right? Babal, meaning confusion. And this place is uh, a place of confusion. This place is not a place of, of righteousness, but a place of confusion. As you can see all the things around you. As you can see, when you walk outside your door, you see the mass amount of confusion. When you go on and you check out the things of this world, you see the mass amount of confusion. The women are out of order. The men are out of order. The children are out of order. They're all rebellious. That's why the Most High destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah the first time around. Sodom and Gomorrah, that's why he destroyed the, the first world that was. All right. Flooded it. Okay, he flooded it out because it was evil upon the earth. And he only saved eight souls. We're talking about a power that is unsearchable, a power that is unthinkable, that you can't even imagine what his thoughts are. That you can't even search out what he may be thinking because you have no recollection, because your thought patterns are not on a high frequency of the most high. No. Of the Most High. All right. So this is Ephesians three and eight, ten and sixteen. It says, "Unto me 
who am I less than the least of all saints is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of the Hamashiach to the intent that now unto the principalities of powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of the Mosiah Yahweh that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might by his spirit in the inner man Colossians 1 and 27 to whom the most high would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles which is the Hamashiach in you the hope of glory Colossians 2 chapter 2 verse 2 and 3 it says that their hearts meaning their minds might be comforted being knit together in love it says and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and of the Father and of the Hamashiach, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Job 5 and 9, it says, Which doeth great things and unsearchable, mar uh, marvelous things without number. Job 9 and 10, it says, Which doeth great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. That's right, that's the Most High Yahweh. Job eleven seven to nine it says Kenneth thou be search or Kenneth thou by searching find out Yahweh Kenneth thou find out the Almighty unto perfection the answer is no you can't <laughs> that's the answer the answer is no now, like I told you the Most High is above our frequency all right he's in the, he's not we're not on his level he's on a different level man. The Most High, Yahweh, is on a different level. And his level is far beyond our level. Okay? Far beyond our level. All right? Okay? It says, it is as high as heaven. What, it, it, see? It is as high as heaven. That means far beyond. We have far beyond. It says, even Job said it, far beyond. What canst thou do? Deeper than hell. He said, deeper than hell. It says, what canst thou know? The measures thereof is larger, uh, Salakia, longer than the earth and broader than the sea. So it stretches out long. There's no way you can think or get or, or be on a, uh, um, a level of the most high. Because the Most High is on his own level. You see? Job 26 and 14, it says, Lo, these are the parts of his ways, but how little a portion of heard of him is heard of him. But the thunder of his power, who can, who can understand? The answer is nobody. Fear, though. Fear is what you need to understand about the Most High. Is to fear the Most High and give glory to His name. Fear Yahweh, fear Yahweh Shai, give reverence and glory unto their names. Job thirty three and thirteen it says, While doest thou strive against, uh, strive against Him, for He giveth not account of any of His ma of His matters. That's right. The Most High don't have to explain nothing. Okay. Job thirty seven nineteen and twenty three it says, Teach us what we shall say unto Him. For we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness. Touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment and in plenty of justice. Righteousness. See? Justice is righteousness, man. Okay? The Lord is full of righteousness, man. Okay? Everything he do is for a reason. There's nothing that's not done on this earth that isn't for a reason. The Lord has a reason for everything. Because he's the almighty. Okay. There's judgment for everything. The most high is the man of judgment. Okay. The man of judgment. The power of judgment. On the right hand side and on the left hand side. Okay. He's the father of spirits. He's the creator. And nothing can be searched out. Everything is unsearchable of the works of the most high. Okay. Whether these devils want to try to search it out 
or whether our people want to try to search it out. You can't get on a thought pattern or a level of the Most High, of Yahweh. If you think you can, then you better think again. Because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay? It says, He will not afflict. Psalms 36 and 6. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are are a great deep, O Lord, thy preservest men and beast. Psalms 40 and 5, it says, Many, O Lord, my power, are the wonderful works which thou hast done, and thou thoughts which are to us work, they cannot be reckoned reckon upon the order upon uh, unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Psalm 77 and 19, it says, Thy way is, thy way is in the sea, and thy path is in great waters in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known psalms 92 and 5 O lord how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep right and thy thoughts are very deep the thoughts of the most high is very deep all right you can't and you can't how can i say this you can't engraft yourself into the thoughts of the most high because it, it, it just won't happen it's too deep. All right. The riches and knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the Most High is far beyond our thought patterns. Okay. Psalms 97 and 2. It says, Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. There you go. The Most High is all about righteousness and judgment, man. Everything is a reason behind it. Okay, there's a reason behind why everything happens. Okay, only the Heavenly Father knows. Okay, because the Heavenly Father knows spirits, because He's the creator of spirits, He's the Father of spirits. Okay, Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 it says, He has made everything beautiful in His time. Right, the Lord has made everything beautiful in His time. Everything was made perfect. The Most High is the architect. Okay? He is the power of the power. Right? A power of, a power above power. Okay? Let's just say that. He's on a level of... To where he's unbeatable. See, you got Esau that think he's going to be able to beat a power that's unbeatable, man. Such as the Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Are you damn, are you, are you, are you dumb? Are you crazy? You think you're going to be able to beat a man, a, a, a power that created you? Well, you sadly mistaken, my friend. You're sadly mistaken. When you Israelites, you think you're going to be able to rebel? Against a power that created you? A power that can destroy you in a blink of an eye? Without even thinking. Judgment. You're a fool. If you don't think you need to fear the most high. Or repent. Alright. It says he had Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. Let's read it from the top again. It says he had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he have set the world in their heart. So that so that no man can find out the work that the most high maketh from the beginning, beginning to the end. Right. You can't find out. You're not going to be able to search out anything or why this or why that. Why the most high do this? Why the most high do that? It's in, it's unsearchable, man. You can't ask those questions because those questions can't be answered. And neither can they be answered by the prophets. Because we have, we can't answer it. Okay? The Most High give us a level to teach on. A level to teach on according to what he has given us. A portion of what we are able to teach. And we can't answer out questions that can't be answered. Foolish questions, we avoid those because why we can't answer those questions. Why the Most High do this? Why the Most High do that? Why He do this? Why we can't answer those questions? We can't tell you those answers because we have, we have, we don't have those answers. 
Okay? Daniel 4 and 35, it says, And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as, are, as nothing, and he, have, and he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stand, uh, stay in his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? There you go. Daniel 4 and 35. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, I recall Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, peace and blessings and citation to the whole elect, the Bayah, Dawada, the house of David. Shalom and the Baha'u'llah.